<sighs> yeah, that's what I say to the weather today. Seeing so at the doctors, waiting for anus. She has to go in and get all um repeats of her prescriptions, but her doctor is on holidays at the moment, so she has to go in and see another doctor just so he can write a prescription based off the other doctor's records. Does that make sense? She doesn't have to pay a consultation fee, but she has to pay some sort of fee. Yeah, normally if the doctor, her doctor wasn't on holidays, you just ring up and say, hey, I want a, a repeat, and the doctor would print it out and be waiting at the desk and you just pick it up. But yeah, she has to go in and see. So I hope they don't charge her much, because seriously, it's just the same process. It's just the fact that a different doctor has to issue it. But if they've got the same access to medical records, wouldn't you think they could just do it? Country bullshit town <laughs> yeah so now she's going to get all of her prescriptions refilled um uh, because yeah she's still on like waiting lists and still got more tests yet to be done yet and what it's been about a month now since uh, the yeah she had the original tests and then with new year with everything closed and backed up and because this place has like one place you can visit to get such and such tests done and oh my god oh my god it's just bullshit. So anyway, yeah, we're at the doctors. And I'm sitting out here in that freaking heat. Absolutely melting! Hi. Sorry, I'm not allowed to say hi, am I? Um, I just want to say that I want to make the announcement before the other two get a chance. Uh, we've decided to just stay, stop it, and move back to Melbourne. We thought that we'd have to wait yet another month or so because um, Anastasia's going to have to have quite a few operations in the next four, four to six weeks. Um, but we've decided to just make the move and she'll just have to come back for them. Um, yeah, so it's been great. We only decided last night and so I've been doing a quick, you know, sort of like a pre-pack, if that makes sense. That's where you go through, you think, okay, I don't want that, I don't want that, I don't want that. So you pack it up and we're in the fortunate position at the moment where we have our business, which is an emporium, which is a mix of old and new. So anything we don't want anymore, it goes straight to the shop. Um, so yeah, so we're getting organized now. And what I really wanted to tell you was that, I don't know about anybody else that wears glasses, reading glasses, but I wear reading glasses and have had them quite a few years. Now the problem is that I lose them all the time. So. Uh, in the last, say, six months, I've steady, steadily accumulated three pair of reading glasses. Now, I didn't tell the other two, but last night, I couldn't find one of them. So, I just had to sit there and watch Tally. I couldn't go on my iPad, couldn't do anything, couldn't read a book, couldn't do anything. So, um, yeah, with my pre-clean today and my pre-packing, look. I found all three. I found all three. So I've set them on the edge of the lounge with my iPad. So yeah, there you go. So they won't never, never know the difference and I'll come home today and I'll say, oh, yeah, I'm organized, I've got my glasses here, my iPad, blah, blah. Yeah, at the moment they're over at the doctor's. Um, Anastasia's run out of um, antibiotics. She's got all the results back, which are all bad. Um, but her doctor, who she's been dealing with, is on holidays and she does not come back until the 29th. So, meanwhile, she's Anastasia's just left hanging. She's got no pills left. So one of the other doctors at the, at the doctor's surgery where she goes, they're going to write a new prescription for her in lieu of the other doctor. So, but she has to appear in person to be able to do it. So Tanner's just taken her over now to get the pills. Yeah, so she's still hanging until the 29th and then they'll send her to specialists and everything else. So, yeah. So I'm here and I'm babysitting. Actually, I'm babysitting. Shit. Nothing like visiting in the shop and having air conditioner dripping on the freaking ground. Two weeks ago. Three weeks ago. Yeah. Joy, oh joy. Oh my god, I freaked myself out. But she's okay. She's just sleeping. Order in. She's actually laying on Anastasia's bed surrounded by pillows because we were in here doing a pre-pack which as I just explained is getting rid of everything you don't want and she fell asleep so we just left her in here. Isn't she cute? Anastasia hates this t-shirt. She makes her look like a little fatty face but I think it's cute with a heart on the front. Yep. Beautiful beautiful babina.
Remember that time when you had to go to Kmart? Oh, you got stuff on you. Remember that time when you had to go to Kmart to buy clothes pegs because the dryer that you paid $300 to get fixed only a few months ago is broken again with the exact same problem because the person who tried to fix it, the, the technician or the tradie or whatever the hell you call it, yeah, did a dodgy ass job and it broke again. And then you come to Kmart and all they have is these pegs. That's it. What happened to the days of like normal pegs? Yeah, so anyway, and what else happened? Oh yeah, the shop this morning. So that's three things. You know how things happen in threes, guys? The car with the thermostat, the air conditioner at the shop, which we also had fixed a month ago, which is now leaking, and now the clothes dryer that um, is squeaking again, the exact same as before. So yeah, all things fixed by people in this area have broken down. So expect the car to break down this week, mum. Oh, shut up. <laughs> So yeah, quality service around here, quality. I oh, know the car won't break down because we went and bought the part brand new ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> and I had a look at the YouTube tutorial and I could have put that damn thing in myself, the thermostat. <laughs> Check out what arrived today. Wasn't the Game Boy. Now we have Tetris, or we have an upside down Tetris, and arrived today, yeah. we have Boom, boom, boom. Grab that photo. Oh, yeah. So now we've got two games. I figured that the. This is right. Sounds a bit loose. That's what she said. That's what he said. That's what someone said. Yeah, I figured that tomorrow the um, Game Boy will arrive. I know it's right. Game Boy will arrive and I'm going to play like a mofo. High score Tetris. Oh, yeah. Hi, one more thing. Tanner is forever complaining about how the size of the handbags that Anastasia and I carry. Now, it's a woman thing, okay. We've got to carry this great big handbag because you never know what you want to put in there, for God's sake, right? Now, this is mine that I carry with me all the time. It's a um, Lacoste bag. It's fantastic. Huge, 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 right? And it's got all this crap in there. I don't know what's in there. Anyway. It's getting heavier and heavier and heavier. And I don't know, I must have just got used to the weight. And then we went to the supermarket last night and he was helping get the bags out of the boot of the car. And he picked up my handbag and he goes, oh my God, what do you got in there? It's so heavy, how can you carry that around? Anyway, carrying on as he usually does. And I really did pick it up and have a feel of it. And do you know why it was so heavy? <laughs> because it had all these coins in there look at them all they are so heavy and then I had all this other accumulated crap in there I don't know what that is it's from the shop broken earrings and la 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 yeah but just all those metal coins oh, yeah. oh, muscles in my arms